okay <coughs> good morning class good morning. how are you today fine. we are fine okay <coughs> before we further proceed to our lesson i ask you some questions very simple something like okay come in please Let's read together. What are we doing now? What are we doing now? So, who would like to answer this question? If any one of you would like to answer this question, please raise your hand, and you will have the permission to answer this question. Who would like to answer this question? Is there anyone? For this simple question, don't you have any answer? Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. We are studying English, of course. We are studying English. Okay. Please be quiet and listen carefully, and watch and learn. If you have any questions or if you have any answer for my question, raise your hand and ask for permission for your answer or for your question. Okay. Something like okay. Uh, please be quiet and watch. I climb every mountains. I swim every oceans. What am I doing now? Singing. Of course, I'm singing. Can you sing? Of course, you all can sing also. Okay. So something like we are talking about something that is happening right now at the moment. That is happening at the moment right now. We use what kind of verb form? Verb to be plus verb ing. So something we are doing at the moment or right now, if we are doing right now, we use the kind of verb form is verb to be plus verb ing. Something like, okay. What am I doing right now? Reading. reading of course, I'm reading. Okay. Something like somebody is trying to eat something. Fruit or vegetables or something, he is eating. Did we say that? Yes, we did. Okay, something that we are doing at the moment right now, we are using verb form of verb to be plus verb ing. Do you understand that? So today, before we further proceed to our lessons, I will ask you something. I'll give you something. Okay, let's watch. If we are trying to construct a sentence, if we are trying to construct a sentence or building a sentence to speak to somebody or to talk to somebody, we got to construct the sentence first, right? So we can talk to someone only with verbs or only with subject. It's not a perfect. It's not a perfect talking or speaking. If you want to talk to someone or if you want to speak to somebody. You got to construct a sentence first, right? So for the sentence, what are the things at the beginning? What is it? Subject, followed by verb, of course, verb. So at the verb place, if we are trying to talk about something that is happening right now, if something is happening right now, we use what kind of verb form? Verb to be plus verb ing, correct. Verb to be. So there are five of verb to be's. M is R O O was way. So for the present moment, in the moment right now, for the present moment, what kind of verb to be we use? Correct. M O is O R we use. Okay. If we are talking about something that is happening right now. We use M is or plus verb ing. Verb ing. Maybe talking. Okay, eating or studying. Okay, for the subject, I will talk about pronouns. Forget for the just uh, forget for a moment for the subject uh, nouns. We use pronouns. I. We, sorry, he, he, she, it, we, 
they and of course you okay these are the pronouns we can use in the place of subject, subject correct subject so if we use this kind of pronouns in the place of subject we got to use the form as well to talk to someone to speak to someone okay if we if i use in the subject place i so which verb shall i use from m is r I. correct for the a i we can use m so i am trying to read a book something like this so what am i doing now i'm reading a book you are reading a book this is the way we express our emotions our things that is happening at the moment right now we use the verb form of this kind so this is what we call the tense what is it tense tense me there are three kind of durations something like okay in the past tense present tense and future tense if we are talking about something that is happening that was happening yesterday if that was happening yesterday we want to express this kind of activity so which kind of verb form shall we use was or were plus verb ing something like that now we are trying to study tense but there are three kinds of tense but today we are going to study present what is it present continuous tense correct present continuous tense present continuous tense okay what is the verb form of present continuous tense what is it verb to be plus verb ing then what are the verb to be we can choose for the present continuous tense correct m is r correct you're right definitely right okay <clears throat> for subject if i choose he which kind of verb shall i choose is. why who do you have any answer please raise your hand and answer the question oh okay thank you oh he is singular correct singular subject we say it's singular subjects singular subject okay if i choose they which kind of verb shall i choose ah. Ah. so why did i choose er why did we choose er yeah. ah. subject is plural yeah. subject so we choose er ah. if subject is singular we choose yeah. is if subject is i we choose yeah. m this is the way we are talking about something that is happening right now or at the moment at the moment me right now the thing is happening right now or doing right now suddenly i'm trying to eat something i am eating i'm expressing the things that is doing right now so we choose m is r plus verb ing so what kind of tense is it what is the verb form there are five kinds of verb to be what are they okay for the present continuous tense which kind of verb to be shall i choose m or is or are if subject is singular number which verb to be shall i choose is for the present continuous tense okay for the past continuous tense which verb to be shall i choose for the singular subject was, was of course was okay now <clears throat> let's go something else okay for the present continuous tense what is the verb form verb to be plus verb ing then which verb to be shall, I, shall we choose am or is or are this is the tense of the present continuous present continuous tense okay we use this tense for four conditions not only for one condition something that we understand before in the previous time before today lesson you think we choose present continuous tense for the things 
they are happening right now right so they are there are four conditions we have to choose this present continuous tense to express something that we are trying to talk about okay so at first the first condition is something oh later i'll give you some time to write down now just listen first listen and try to familiar with this kind of tense today listen try to get closer to it then i will give you one more time to write down now it's okay just watch and learn and answer the questions okay something that is happening or doing right now okay what we are trying to talk about is something that is happening or doing right now means at the moment now at the current time currently at the moment we are trying to express or trying to speak about something but that is happening right now at the moment in this kind of situation we can choose the tense form of present continuous tense what is the verb form of present continuous tense verb to be plus verb ing what are the verb to be we can use for the present continuous tense i miss er so we are trying to use something like verb to be plus verb ing to express something that is happening right now currently it is happening for for another situation Okay, let's read together. What is it? Activity, activity. 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 progress. Progress. We pronounce that progress. Okay, activity. What is activity? Activity is meaning doing something, but in progress, not at the moment. What is the kind of situation? I'll tell you with a sentence. Okay, uh, some of my friends. Are trying to maybe one of my friends one of my friends are trying to build a new building trying to build a new building or they are building a new building they hope to finish next year maybe something like my friend Terry one of my friends is building a new house they hope to finish next year so in this sentence, which kind of verb form shall I did I choose? Did I use? Verb to be blessed? Verb to energy, of course. Terry or my friend. One of my friend is building a new house. They hope to finish next year. So at the moment, I'm trying to speak this kind of situation or this kind of condition. Okay, at the moment we are talking about this thing. They are building a new house. I'm trying. I'm speaking this this uh, uh, thing right now. But at the moment I'm speaking about this thing. They are not. They may be not doing that. But it is in progress. It has already started. Something like last one month ago. One month ago, they have started to build this new house. But still working, didn't finish yet. They have been finished the building. They are still trying to build. They are still building, but didn't complete, didn't finish. But they have already started. In this kind of situation, also we can use present continuous tense. Something like my friend, one of my friends is building a new house. At the moment, I am talking about this thing. They may be not doing that. They may be eating something, or they may be going to market, or they may be reading a book. They, are, they may not be doing that, but they have already started building a new house. But they didn't finish. In this kind of situation, also we use present continuous tense. 
Okay, we got two situations already. To use present continuous tense. At first situation, what is it? Maybe you all are very sleepy. Did you sleep last night? Did you get uh, enough sleep last night? Oh, of course. Of course. So why don't you actively involved in the activities? Okay? Stay focused. Stay focused. Be quiet. And if you have any questions, or if you have any answers for my questions, raise your hand, ask for permission. Understand that right? So, Let's read again with active voice. Maybe you are so sleepy. Because the teacher, you're te teaching English. The teacher is not handsome, right? That's why you're so sleepy. If the teacher is very uh, handsome or teacher is very beautiful, you will be actively involved in the activities. Isn't it? It doesn't matter, right? Depends. Depends on the, on the kind of situation or at the time moment. Okay, this is right in the morning, you know. This is not the best time to sleep. Okay, get involved in the activities, actively. Someday, okay, you are drilling something. You are trying to talk about something again, again, and again. You will memorize in your head. You do not need to study again. Get involved in the activities. Someday, I'm asking something. You know the answer. You know the answer. Then, Oh, I know the answer. I do not need to answer that. Then, later on, you will forget that thing or situation, that lesson. So, if I ask a question, even if you know, answer it. If you do not know, listen. What did your friend answer? Then, the next time, you already know the answer. So, you know how what to answer, right? So, let's read together. What is it? We read this all. Please read again. Okay. If we are doing something right now, or if we are, if it is something is happening right now, we can express or we can speak or we can talk about this thing in present continuous tense form. Another situation. What is it? Activity, progress. progress. Something like, okay, let me write something. Okay, let's read together. Terry is talking to his friend on the phone. Terry is talking to his friend on the phone. Then let's watch. He says, he says, who is he? Terry. Terry, Terry says, Terry talked to his friend. Something like, Terry talked to his friend. I, I am reading a Really good book. Okay, let's read it. I am really good book, not book. Book. Okay, I am reading a really good book. Who is talking to Terry? Who is he talking to? His friend. He is talking to his friend on his phone. Something Terry. Terry called to his friend. Maybe. Jason or Jack or somebody, he tried to call him. Then he answered the phone. Good morning. Jay Jason is speaking. Hey, Jason, I'm reading a really good book. The time at the moment, he is talking to someone. He is talking to his friend. At the moment, he is talking on the phone and he is reading the book. No. But he have already started reading this book. But the time moment, he is talking to his friend. He's not reading. This is what we call activity in progress. It, have, it has already studied, but may not be doing at the moment he's speaking. 
he's talking to someone about this thing, may not be doing. So I'm like, I told you one example before. So I'm like, one of my friends is building a new house. At the time moment, the moment we are talking about this thing, they may not be doing that. They may be resting or they may be going for a walk, going for a shopping or something. This is what we call activity in progress. Okay, in this kind of situation also, we use present continuous tense. What is the verb form of present continuous tense? Verb to be blessed? Verb to be blessed? Correct. So, there's another one more situation. Three. A temporary situation. Okay, let's check this second situation again. Terry is talking to his friend on the phone. Terry is talking on the phone to his friend. Hey, my friend, how are you? I'm good, thank you. So, I need to tell you something. What is it? I am reading a really good book. The moment he is talking to his friend, he may not be reading. Talking and reading. No, he's not doing that. He may not be doing that. Okay, he got, he, had, he has already started reading this book, but haven't finished yet. But the moment he is talking about this thing, he's not doing that. He may not be doing that, but he can use present continuous tense. Here it is. We have to be blessed. Buff ing. It is what we call present continuous tense. So we understand before, before these lessons, we understand present continuous tense we can use only for something that is happening or doing right now. But another two more situations. Activity in the progress. Activity in the progress means we have already started, but haven't finished yet. In this kind of situation, also we can use present continuous tense. Okay, another situation is what is it? A temporary situation temporary situation okay a temporary situation means okay something like i like to drink coffee in the morning so i every day drink coffee every single day i drink coffee so i can say i drink coffee every Oh, every morning, every day, every morning, every year, so maybe something. Okay. A temporary situation. This is not a temporary situation. I am doing this every single day. Every single day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or every single day, weekdays or weekends. Every day, every day, I drink coffee. So I can use this kind of a form. What is this? Sembe present tense. Verb 1. If we use verb 1 in the sentence, means we are doing this thing every single day. Every day. We are doing this thing. We use simple present tense. But for me, I don't like smoking or I don't like drinking alcohol or I don't like drinking beer. Okay. But I drink coffee, right? Coffee. I every day drinking Every single morning, I, I, I drink coffee. So I can say, I drink coffee every morning. But very seldomly means only one year a day, one day in a year, one day in a year, one of my friends or one of my working partner invited me to his party, to his birthday party or something. He invited me to come over and enjoy the party and meet some new friends for our work situation. Okay, then he invited me to come over to his party. Then I have to go there. I have no choice, something like that. Then I go there. I meet a lot of friends there. Almost all of them are drinking beer. Then they push me. Hey, you have to drink. I, we, after we drink a cup of beer or a cup of alcohol, we have better situation to talk about something, business or something like that. They push me to drink. 
Then I drink a cup of beer. Then some of my friends see me. Hey, he is drinking beer. No, he drinks beer. He is drinking beer. Okay. In this sentence, which kind of verb did I did I use? Ah, present continuous verb to be blessed. Verb ing. Why did I use this thing? I drink of beer. I drink beer. It means I drink beer every single day, every day. It's not a strange thing. Hey, that's strange. He's drinking beer. That's strange. That's strange. He's drinking beer. In this kind of situation, we call a temporary situation. He's not doing every day. Only once a year or once a month. He has no choice. That's why he drink beer. At the moment, we express this kind of situation with present continuous tense. If we use simple present tense, we are doing this thing every single day. It's normal thing. You shall, you shall, a uh, usual one. Usually, I do this thing. We use simple present tense. Understand? Okay. If we are you doing this thing in, tem in a temporary situation, we use. Present continuous tense. We got three situations. Okay, there's one more situation. A change. Hello. They see a change. We see a change. Changing something. Something. Okay. Uh. She is. Uh. More. Looking. Looking. Uh. Something. Okay. <clears throat> She's becoming. She's becoming means changing. She's becoming more look like her mother. She is becoming more look like her mother. She is getting old and old. When she is getting old, she totally look like her mother. So this is changing. Changing. Since she was young, she may not be look like her mother. But when she gets older and older, she is becoming, she is changing. She, <coughs> she is becoming more and more look like her mother. So in this sentence, we're using present continuous tense. Why did we use this? It is a change situation. Changing situation, changing something, something. Okay, the population of the world. The population of the world means the people, amount of the people. The population of the world last year and this year may not be the same. Why? Changing. changing. It's increasing, right? It's increasing more and more increasing. The population of the world means the amount of the people on the world. It's changing, getting increased and increased. So in this kind of situation, we want to talk about that. So which which kind of verb form shall shall we choose? Verb to be blessed, verb for ing. So something like the population of the world is increasing very fast. Increasing. Verb to be blessed, verb for ing. The population of the world is increasing very fast. Why did we use present continuous tense? It's a change, it's a change condition. So in this kind of full situation, we want to talk about, we have to use present continuous tense. We have to remember that, memorize that. Not only for one situation. We understand before, before we start this lesson, we understand we use present continuous tense for the condition of Something that is happening or doing at the moment, we use. But from, from now on, from now on, after we study this lesson, we have four situations. We have to remember at least four situations to use present continuous tense. Understand that? So let's proceed to a, uh, an exercise. Please take out your book and write it down.
answer the fill in the blank. I'll give you an exercise. You read the sentence and try to translate it of the situation. The situation that is happening or actively in the progress, a temporary situation or a change. You read the sentence and translate it. It is happening right now, or it is a temporary situation, or it is a change, or it is actively in the progress. In this four kind of situation, we use verb to be blessed, verb for energy. Okay, let's go. Wait, wait. I'll give you a few words here. I'll give you the blanks in the sentence. You can choose any kind, any of these verbs in the sentence. Fill in the blanks. That's it. Very simple. You have to choose your own for the verb to be as well. To choose the verb to be, you got to check the subject, singular number or plural number. If singular, we use is. If plural, we use are. That's it. Very simple. Okay. Please, could you please stop the video? Thank you.